Welcome to the Fredericksburg Center for Creative Arts, FCCA, and our August 2024 Artist Choice Exhibit. I'm Carol Morgan, the curator of the Frederick Gallery, and I'd like to thank David Kennedy for his videography for this video. The gallery is open on Monday, noon to 4, Thursday, Friday, noon to 4, Saturday, 11 to 4, Sundays, 1 to 4, and we have extended hours on First Friday from noon to 8.30, with announcement of awards at 6.30 p.m. with light refreshments and usually musical entertainment. We invite you to visit the gallery in person and enjoy our exhibition. I would like to introduce the juror for this exhibition, Nicole Horn. Uh, Nicole earned her BFA at Colorado State University. After college, she became an art director for a magazine in San, Francisco, San Diego. She is now a full-time painter currently located in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and has a studio and gallery of her works available at Liberty Town Art Workshop. Welcome again to Nicole Horn, our juror. Hi, my name is Nicole, and I'm the juror for this um, exhibit at FCCA. It was Artist Choice, and what a fantastic group of art and artists. I use two main criteria to choose my award winners for this exhibit. And the first thing I used for criteria was, did it have an emotive response? Was I compelled to look at the painting and take my time and enjoy what I was seeing? And the second criteria I used was the skill that the artist showed using their chosen medium and why they chose that media to tell their story. So thank you. So the first honorable mention I want to discuss today is Iguanan Profile by Marissa Blue Alford. When I was talking about the criteria for work in this show, the first thing that really struck me about this piece was the story. So the Iguanan Profile is, is a great position of the head, but the eye is looking towards the viewer. And it really helps us connect to this creature. And we want to come in closer and look at the detail that Marissa used with her pen and ink work. I like the choice also of not using color in this piece. It really keeps our focus on the medium and telling that story of the personality of the iguana. So the second honorable mention I wanna talk about today is Primordial by Chris McClintock. And this piece tells the story of, the title sets it all, of the beginning of life. And it really is so apt for this piece. So when I first looked at it, I was really intrigued by this composition. The circular composition draws us in. We want to look closer. That macro microscopic view of life brings us in. And it's so beautifully done with the technique. This is the best use of photography for this subject and for this statement. And I really feel like it says what the what the name is it is primor primordial and it's a new beginning my next honorable mention is titled falls run by marcia chavez so here the story compelled me to ask the question who's sitting on the rocks it looks like this figure is connected to nature and i want to know what they're doing so when i find a painting that is asking me questions and i stay engaged with it that's a really strong amazing story and as I look at this painting, you know, the choices that this artist made really help draw us into that activity. And I think it was really unusual not to show the sky, but that the sky is reflected in the water. And so we're even closely connected to that person and in this little um, swirl of water and what's happening in that landscape. I'd like to present my next piece for an honorable mention, and it is Chad via Sunrise by Karen O'Donnell. So the image here is really, you can make anything at the right time and the right place extraordinary. And when I saw this image, I was totally drawn in by the composition, how the artist used photography in this kind of unique way that I haven't seen before. So when I see, you know, an application of a media used in a different way, that's pretty compelling. And when I was trying to figure out, was it manipulated photograph? You know, at the end, it doesn't matter how they made this image, 
because it's stunning. And when I try to figure out, you know, how did they make something so austere and something really harsh look so soft and beautiful and graceful, it's pretty magical. I'd like to introduce my third place award, and it's from The Forest Edge by Joseph Bailey. The story here is definitely, let's take a walk in the woods. And when I look at this piece, I see this beautiful intimate connection with these pieces that were perhaps found on a, tr a, tr a path on, in the woods. When I remember my beginnings of doing art, one of the biggest things was observation. And so here I see an artist dedicated to some beautiful observation and rendered in a subtle way with his coloring, but the value shifts are just incredible. The other thing I like is that he's included the bugs and animal life along with these branches with lichen. And I think it's an unusual botanical study. I don't see a lot of work that really shows off kind of the not so typical beautiful aspects of nature. Well done. The second place award for this show goes to Amphibian One by Katrina Ray. So this piece of story is one of this amazing little frog clinging onto this leaf and the little hand up on top grasping the edge it tells it all. And it really connected with me and I felt that could be me in there hanging on for dear life some days. Um, so great story and great use of materials. This is a pastel and the amount of detail that this artist managed to capture with the pastel is really truly impressive. Um, there's also textural quality and that really dark soft matte black propels this little frog into our view, into the viewer's eye and it's a really impressive way to do pastel work. I think it's also interesting that there's no glass over, over the work. So you feel a really close connection with the, the, um, the frog, beautifully done. So my first place award goes to Yoke by Tim Criswell. When I first saw this piece digitally, I was impressed. And then when I got to see it in real life, even more impressed. The feeling I get here in the story that really takes me in is taking a breath. I felt serenity, calmness, and yet a little bit of energy with the texture and the use of the medium, which is oils. There's a quality of the paint that comes through in person that doesn't even show up digitally. And so coming to see it live and being in the presence, that contrast of the smoothness of the sky and then the energy and the texture, almost sand-like, of the earth, that grounding element is just really beautifully done. So when I think of oil paint as a medium, what does it give us? It gives us texture and three-dimensional reality that a lot of artists don't really show off. And this painting does it in a really, really sublime way. The other thing I wanted to talk about this painting was the use of color. So when I think about color, I don't see a lot of artists that can handle the neutrality as well as this piece does. And those shifts in value are so subtle. And when you look at when it changes value, like the light are dark, and I'm looking at the colors within those passages, a lot of them use this transition of a saturated color to a neutral color in ways that is pretty, pretty brilliantly done. I want to thank Nicole for her expertise in selecting this fantastic exhibition, which you really have to see in person to appreciate. But above that, this selection of awards, and I'm sorry we can't include all of our conversation about looking in pieces in depth, but Nicole will be here on First Friday to discuss pieces with the artists and the audience. Awards will be announced officially on First Friday, August 2nd at 6.30 p.m., and each month, this is our new format to not announce awards until First Friday. Uh, you're welcome to come in and visit before First Friday and throughout the month. Enjoy these beautiful pieces of work. Uh, the commentary, Nicole, on the individual pieces of work is greatly appreciated. Most artists want to know a little more about what are you thinking when you select an award. 
And we talked about maybe doing some conversations about pieces later and doing some videos for our YouTube channel. So thank you, Nicole. It's been a pleasure. And I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say on First Friday. And we hope to see you again as a juror. An outstanding job. Thank, thank you for viewing and stay with this video for a walkthrough of the entire exhibition.
Fredericksburg Center for the Creative Arts, where art and history meet.